This is the rest of the notes for Geometry Unit 3, Lesson 5. I apologize, I ran out of time in the first video, but let's see if we can finish this problem. All right, so we want to find the perimeter of the quadrilateral shown to right. And to recap what we've already know, um, AD we said was a vertical line. If you count from A to D, you get 7. And AB is a horizontal line. You can count from A to B, you get 14. So those we can count because they're vertical and horizontal. All right, CD we can't count because it's slanted. But what we can do is we can create delta Y and delta X by drawing in the vertical and the horizontal to figure out the distance. Now, you could also do this with the coordinates if you want to. All right, for, for example, um, the coordinate of D here is at negative 2, 3. And the coordinate of C here is at 1, 2, 3, 4, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. This is at 4, negative 5. Okay, so let's do it both ways. We need to know, in order to do this, we need the distance formula. We know distance is delta x squared plus delta y squared. All right, so for CD, delta x would be the distance, the horizontal distance between C and D, which would be down here. If we count this, it would be 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So delta x is going to equal 6. All right, now you can also do this by coordinates. If you look at the x's here, this is at negative 2. We're going to 4. What's the change? The change is 6. So that works both ways. All right, so this is going to be delta x right here, which is 6. All right, now delta y would be the vertical distance between d and c. All right, so I can draw the, the vertical line here. So I count 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Okay, so delta y is going to be 8. Now, the vertical distance, um, if we look at the coordinates, we go from 3 to negative 5, is a change of negative 8. But the change is going to be squared anyway, so it's going to be the change is actually going to be 8. All right, now, we want to plug in the formula. Delta x is going to be 6. Delta y is going to be 8. All right, so that means this is going to be 36 plus 64 which is 100. So that means that CD is going to be the square root of 100, which is going to be 10. So this side right here is going to be 10. All right, now we can do the same thing for CB. All right, so we have to find CB. It's also slanted, so we have to use the distance formula. All right, so let me draw in my triangle. I've created a right triangle right here. Okay, and I'm going to put my coordinates for point B. Point B is at 12, 10. Okay, so let's take a look at our formula. So first we need to know what delta x is. So the change in x would be the horizontal distance between C and B. So if I count this over, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. So delta x will equal 8. Okay, or if I can do it with the coordinates, from 4 to 12 is a change of 8. So there we go. And then we have delta y is the vertical distance between b and c, which would be over here. This would be delta y right here. We can count for this one. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15 is 15. Now, if you look at the coordinates, we're going from negative 5 to positive 10. It's going to be a change of 15. Either way that you do it is fine. All right, so uh, we need to do delta x squared plus delta y squared. Delta x is 8 squared. Delta y squared is 15 squared. So this will be 64 plus 225, which is... 289. And I know what square root 289 is, but just to show you, um, if you have 8 squared plus 15 squared, there's the 289, and then take the square root, second x squared of 289, and we get 17. So that means that CB is going to equal 17. So this length right here is 17. All right, so from, to find the perimeter, of the quadrilateral, we have to add the four sides. All right, so AB is 14, BC is 17, 
CD is 10, and DA is 7. So if I add those together, I get 14 plus 17 plus 10 plus 7. The perimeter is going to be 48. And that is my perimeter. Okay, so you need to know the distance formula. The distance is the square root of delta x squared plus delta y squared. We are going to be using this a lot this year. And it can be used for any non-vertical or horizontal line, any diagonal. All right, so that's the rest of the notes. So uh, you can do your homework now.